Alright guys, welcome back to another Warframe video. So in the last video, we were running the active event, Belly of the Beast. I've probably run through it, gosh, I don't know, maybe 15 times now, including the alert versions uh, that have popped up. And it seems to be a really great place to farm arcanes, uh, as well as it drops a fair chunk of plastids every time I run it, which is great because that's a pretty high need component for crafting, uh, which segues me beautifully into the next bit. So I've got quite a lot going on here uh, in terms of things that I've crafted as of late. So yesterday I spent about 30 minutes. I went through the entire market. Well, I clicked on about 90% of them. Just seeing what other things I might have overlooked that I could actually purchase for uh, credits versus platinum and I found a pretty big pile. I don't have them all crafted yet, but I do have a fair chunk. Um, so this is going to give me some MR fodder. Some I will probably keep and some are going to be parts to actually craft some other weapons that are based on this. Uh, so the bow is one, for example, that I needed to have in order to craft something else. I already created uh, something else in this list. It might have been the Gracada or the hind uh, that was related to needing something else to trade in. I think if this is the flat cannon, uh, one of them that's a flat cannon type thing. But anyway, I have a pretty big pile here. So we've got some good MR fodder here. Um, I'm just going to pick them all up. Sure, I'll buy the slot. Yes, okay. Claim. Yes, I know. Claim. Uh, Graham. Claim. Harmony I did get uh, from the event, so I have that crafted. Uh, Mirage is finally done, so I can get Mirage crafting. Pick up those parts, and then I have a few more that uh, I got crafting a little later. So let's go ahead and pop over and let's get Mirage going. Uh, that was from the current week. Today is June the 30th. Uh, Daviri circuit. Uh, so before the reset, okay, I'll have to do an argon crystal farm. So that's okay. I can wait on this one. It's no rush. I still have a gigantic pile of frames I haven't even played yet. And I still need to give uh, Saren some more time in the saddle. Um, but that's actually not what I'm doing today. Um, what I am doing today is I am going to be, yeah, you could see, ah, yeah, let me show you this too. Uh, I've got Rhino, obviously. I, Rhino is one that I wanted the Prime version of, probably more than any other, because he's the frame that I come back to time and time again, and just that extra bump you get from the Prime variant. I did finally actually uh, get involved in the trading aspect of the game uh, a couple weeks ago. So I have managed to secure the Neuroptics, the chassis, and the systems, and I'm only missing the blueprint. I just picked up Neuroptics. Somebody sold that to me for 10. I gave them 15, uh, which I thought was fair, maybe slightly undervalued, uh, because it doesn't come back in rotation. I think somebody told me in my comments until July or August, uh, but I paid 20p for the chassis and the systems, which again, to me, is a fair price. I mean, look, I have a ton of platinum. I have no problem, uh, you know, using the platinum in there and sure eventually i'll have some stuff that i can sell too i have no clue what the market rates are but it wasn't that expensive and it seemed perfectly fair to me if i can spend 180 200 platinum plus on just a visual cosmetic it's certainly worth 10 20 platinum to pick up the component parts to craft a prime frame uh, that's at least you know where i'm coming from so i only need that prime blueprint uh, which hopefully uh, i'm just every day when i log in i'm first thing i'm checking the uh, maru's bazaar area and then before i log off just to see if somebody has a part so yeah awesome uh, but nonetheless guys uh, today what i want to focus on i may as well just scroll back over here i want to focus on trying to see if i can secure uh, some more parts for dante i've used dante three or four times while playing in the circuit now and i really 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 like that frame uh it seems to work quite well you know part of it is probably the mod setup that they use for dante but uh extremely useful so i know that's over in the sanctum anatomica so that's where i'm going to be focusing today so we're just going to head on over i guess i should turn this onto public that is totally fine sanctum anatomica and i'm gonna pop over to I believe it's Fibonacci that has the Dante parts. I don't think it's Lloyd, uh, but we'll double check when we get over here. So fine, skip that. 
as simply as possible. Ah, uh, it was Corvex worked. from here. All right, so Dante is the from somewhere else. Corvex, I know I'm ass. only missing one part, which is totally fine. But one thing at a time. Like I said, guys, I'm just focusing one now thing at a time. Here, it's easy to get sidetracked and spread yourself too thin. To time to turn another page of Dante's folio. Ah, okay, that's right. You needed the vessels. And I know that you can get those from a few different ways. Uh, but I know that they drop from playing just some of the base missions. So that might be the easiest way. So if I hover over disruption missions on Armatus. And I'm still rolling the three incarnate weapons. Uh, that's my current loadout. I don't honestly recall. That one's required, so I guess we could technically pick up that key. Yeah, the Felarks did indeed get a lot stronger after I got it upgraded and got some mods on it. Guzzling in your vicinity. Cena Dim is honestly ridiculous, guys. <laughs> when it's in Incarnate, it is downright silly. I mean, I guess there's no compelling reason to not. Yeah, I did. Oh, we have to pick up the one first. I don't have the key. the polarization of this conduit's burden. It's working for you now. On your feet, Saito. Yeah, I'm also still ranking up my Kavit, obviously. find those to be among the most irritating.
you know, the Latum really kicks out some damage, even when it's not in incarnate form because of that uh, 2,000 per cent, percent, 50 percent chance on the 2,000 damage boost. That's honestly ridiculous. If you truly desired greatness for the Nevarian, you would have made it happen. But you haven't. Instead, you idle away the years. Yes, yeah, that's fine. Content with unfulfilled dreams and comfortable mediocrity. I desire greater things from the Nevarian and her archives. You will get your payment, Mr. Granum, and nothing more. Ah, here we go. Given the circumstances, saw some chains. Was that Harrow? Done very well. So, I wonder if it's nine you get per wave. If so, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Could you could you get more? Sure, of course. But I'm not mad about it. You encounter them for analysis. Tano, will you? I can't, uh, I don't think that they're heading this way. I could be wrong. Looks like no, they want to keep going. Chapter to that book I was reading. Conduit. 
it online. Let us hope this one has what Drusus needs. Is he up through the top? No, you have to get to it from the bottom. <laughs> this thing is just silly. Properly silly. It sure does hit hard, man. This thing just crits for days. Online momentarily. Steady yourself. GG's guys. Spectacular group here. We're just nuking rooms. I feel a lot more powerful with um, this three-way incarnate setup. It's uh, it's working quite well, in my opinion. That's a big fat pile of endo too. Wow. The origin system is ever changing. Our enemies grow more powerful. Only the Tenno with true mastery of their arsenal will overcome what awaits us. Well, it prime, is time well, prime revenant prime. to take on a new challenge. Yeah, I'm sure Volt Prime is awesome. Revenant, I haven't used. Uh, it's another one of the new ones. Not sure who the next new one I'm going to jump in. I may grab one that I've had here for a while, but either way. Is that a Doggett? Yep, I like Doggett. Fun frame. I also like their kit. So, yeah, guys. Um, I'm just going to keep doing this in the background. I'll do a cut, and then uh, we'll see if we can't grab another Dante part here. Uh, but picking up a lot of other good stuff in the background along with this. So uh, absolutely worth putting the time in to get it done. So yeah, I'm just going to keep grinding, guys. And then uh, hopefully when I have enough uh, capillaries, we can jump back in and pick up one more Dante part. All right, guys. I just finished, oh, probably an hour and a half of grinding Armatus. Um, had another part drop for free, so I had plenty of capillaries left over and almost enough to grab the weapons that are on offer in there as well so there's just a couple more uh nah, probably another hour of grinding i'll have more than i need uh, but we do have all the parts um so i was looking at it some of them are more expensive than others to craft so it takes a lot of plastids on the chassis the systems isn't that awful but i do need more lant horn and then uh, the Neuroptics, again, it, it's really the Voca in there that kind of stinks. But on the Plastid side, I can just uh, resume grinding the event to keep uh, backfilling Plastids. While it's up, it's the best time to get some of these oh, high Plastid cost pieces of gear crafted. Or at least just keep banking them for future use. But at any rate, we do have all of the parts. So that is mission accomplished there. And as I've been playing around, obviously uh, Saito has gotten uh, max rank. So let's just jump back over to upgrades and see what else we have. This is where we left it yesterday. I think I am just going to take that, whoops, and bump that the final level. We'll bump reflect up. Bump, yes, okay. 
And then what else do we maybe want on here? There's a lot of pretty good stuff on here. I mean, I can pick them back up, so I'm not sure that I want to waste armor and shield capacity and all that on them. Um, let's see. Let's just let's just look at this one and see what happens. If I were to bump that all the way, 75% damage reduction. And it's only a 10 second cooldown. That's honestly not bad. I think I am going to take that one. Um, that's one I don't think I ever used on Chi at all. Uh, but yeah, that, that seems pretty good. Heal your companion with melees. Yeah, I know. I mean, honestly... This may not be bad either. This covet specific pounce. Uh, I don't honestly care that much about that one. Sharpen claws. I've already got swipe. Strikes one additional. Increase the attack range. Health orbs and armor. Pacifying wild creatures. So I think pounce I am also going to take. And we will max that one out. One, two, three. And then I should have plenty more points for that last one I was looking at. Uh, pounce and is it sense danger swipe. We'll add swipe. Give them a little additional range. So that's uh, that's the loadout I'm gonna roll with the covet for now. Um, I may end up having uh, plenty Your more is impressive, operator. But options. I wonder if there Wait. Are more to be had. Did I not just... Maybe I accidentally, yeah, bumped it up too much. So I can only bump this too. That's fine. That's probably what that warning was that I didn't read. I was just clicking through the motions. Either way, that's fine. Uh, so yeah, that's our current setup for our covet. And I kind of want to see... Okay, wow. So you, you can potato your companions. I didn't realize that this whole time. I mean, I guess if I thought there was a high need, you know, prior to the quality of life where, you know, they come back on their own after X amount of time. I mean, I don't see it as being that big of a deal. Um, companion health regen per second and minus recovery time. Yeah, we don't want minus recovery time because if I'm off doing something and they go down and I can't get to them, that'll just make it take it longer for them to get back. So that's totally fine. So yeah, guys, uh, that's where we settled on that. Uh, super excited to have chased down another frame and I'm just gonna check real quick. I think that the active current Duveri circuit is still going for another few hours here. I think it resets at 8 p.m. Let's just take a look at it. Three hours, 39 minutes. Yep, and it's 420, give odd, some odd. So yeah, 8, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time is the reset for me. So not bad. Um, I think where I'm gonna finish off, guys, I know I already played a little bit of this, but uh, just for the sake of being reasonably well-rounded, I was Laser beam focused on what I wanted to do. I got all the parts. So let's just finish off by jumping into Belly uh, the Beast again. And we'll see how many plastics we pull. And if we get lucky and pull another Arcana I already had that I can uh, bump another one a level. So that's my plan. Plus, I caught that we're on to the Tier 2 now. So yesterday it was in the Asperus Ephemera. Now we're on the Asperus Emergent Ephemera. Obviously, I'm guessing that this is loot that you know, the community can secure by reaching specific trophy tiers and goals. Um, yeah, the fact this is still up for another two and a half weeks is phenomenal. Um, I stand by that because this just seems to work so well to the extent that it is a really good place for farming some resources quickly as well as Indo. And uh, also pulling, um, you know, the potential for arcanes every time you run it. So I'm a big fan of this event. Um, I don't find it unfun, the actual mechanic of it, it itself. After I swapped to Titania, really my main gripe I had about it is kind of null and void. So. Bad 
I remember a certain inspirational man. A hero to the Tenno. Though he too slaughtered Oregon at a ceremony in his own honor. Tell me. Does any memory of that valiant man still reside in your shallow, glossy brain? Parvis just in here talking smack. Mr. Granum! Mr. Granum. Ortis, you're so polite. There's no need. It's Parvis Granum. It is. Orius has unilaterally enabled the air support that will boost the height of your gallant leaps. Enjoy! Oh, they are gallant. You know it, Orius. Starting elevator ascension and... Oh, they have cut the power. Oh, this is a phase you will have to power it down. Look for ionic charges. Keep... Triggering those beacons, and the Sisterhood will attempt to eliminate you. Thoris would like to see them try. I bet you would, Ortis. There's a bunch of them I saw sitting up here, so we should probably just grab them and. Maybe we can grab them and chuck them down. Plenty of them. Yeah, that's that's how to tag team it. Just grab them and drop them down onto the elevator. Oh no. Unfortunate. Yeah, that's that's why even flying like it can be a bit annoying if you can't get it over the edge onto the platform before it raises above the, the level you're on. It, it gets a, a bit annoying. So obviously at this point, I'm going to have to keep flying a little further up, a little further up. We've got plenty of people climbing for them though. Mr. Granum. Jade fulfilled her purpose. She provided an heir. In doing so, she died. What further closure can your actions possibly bring her? It is sentimentality, and as such, weakness.
And we find some more before we reach the top. There's one. I get for trying to melee in there. If I can face a disciplinary meeting with Sister Clarius, I can certainly face the likes of you. Ah, uh, that guy's in a bad spot, unfortunately. What is going on here? Everybody's down. Troops. The enemy is attempting to extract. Failure to stop them will incur my extreme displeasure. Okay, yeah, I guess that was easy enough. But it's a good way to finish it. Yeah, look at that. I mean, 171 plastids for, what, 10 minutes of work if it takes that long? And I got another Arcane Ice Storm. Perfect. So, yeah, guys, uh, this is, give or take, kind of what I'm going to be focusing on while this, while this event is up. I'm going to pick one non-event related thing and then wrap up with the event. So, yeah. Yeah. For me, that will do it in the actual play session. But what I do want to do, let me leave the dojo. I want to take one quick peek left over uh, before I call it for the day. I'm going to go check Maru's Bazaar because that's uh, what I've been doing. It's the last thing I do just on the off chance that there is a blueprint for Rhino Prime. That's what I'm looking for. All right, what you got? Hey, came to trade. Did you find some Steve iron receiver, Cobra and crane? Yeah, I have a few parts, but not all of them. Nice. They have a lot. They have a lot. Bunch of relics. Mirage, Octavia. Yeah, that would be nice. Yeah, a lot of good parts here, just not uh, exactly what I'm looking for. But that's okay. Yeah, I mean, it's luck of the draw. I mean, I've already found three of the four pieces I need, so yeah, we'll keep coming. And, you know, if the worst thing that happens is it takes me as long as until they release it again to pull Tenno, one, uh, there are worse things that could happen. You must to walk the steel path. Tesha, you got to give it a rest, bud. Every time I travel from one place to another, I don't need to hear you say it. I promise you I have not forgotten. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, yeah, so that's going to be kind of my new process. Just today, here's the main focus. I'm going to focus on this. And I'll check the bazaar before and after, and I'll run the belly of the beast while it's up at least once. I'll probably do a little background grinding a little bit before bed as well. Just keep running it, running it, get the arcanes, get the plastids up. Uh, but that's uh, that's going to be my process. And probably sometime in the next video or two, I am finally going to activate the steel path. Uh, you know, I may do a random mission or two just to see what it's about. I mean, obviously, they're going to I presume they're going to start you on Earth again. So it's not going to be, 
you know, I've played higher level content, I imagine then the enemies will be there on the steel path, which is fine. So obviously it'll progressively get harder, uh, but at least I will be able to pop in and, uh, you know, get the process started. But like I said, one thing at a time, oh man, between Teshin and Ordis, I, I don't know how much more I can take. <laughs> but uh, yeah, guys, uh, that's that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, picking my thing for the day. Uh, I've got tons of the various, you know, syndicates and factions, whatever you want to call them, that I need to finish ranking up and, you know, making use of the gear that I can activate. Obviously, I, I saw yesterday that this is maxed again, so I have some more mods I need to go in there and grab. Uh, but yeah, that's our process, guys. So still making slow but steady work. And yeah, probably in the next video or two i am going to activate the steel path and sure i'll jump in just to have it started but i'm primarily focusing on these other aspects of the game i may play a few missions here a few missions there um you know we'll see how the difficulty ramps up but i've got plenty to do that i've been working on bits and pieces for quite a while so we're just going to keep focusing down on the primary you know Pick the thing of the day if it's going after a frame, if it's going after rank ups for a specific faction or syndicate, whatever the case may be. But that's how we're going to play it. So, yeah, guys, that is going to do it for today. Uh, always feels good to get a goal accomplished. And uh, we've been accomplishing many uh, every time we jumped in for uh, last several videos here. So on, on a good trajectory. As always, I do sincerely appreciate you checking in, guys. And we will catch you on the next one.